Hey guys, welcome back. So today I'm going to share with you my December favorites. But before we jump into my favorites, I just wanted to give you guys a huge thank you for all the love on my last video, my weekly favorites, where I had a special announcement. And if you missed that, the announcement was that I'm pregnant, expecting my first baby in June. So you guys just made me feel so overwhelmed and in a good way. And I was just feeling the love. So thank you guys so much for taking the time to congratulate me. It means so much to me. So I just wanted to say thank you so, so, so much. And actually, I have another question for you guys. So a couple of you, a few of you had requested that I do like pregnancy videos or I don't know if you want to call it like a pregnancy vlog or what have you, just like updates and stuff. And I kind of had thought about that, but I wanted to get the masses of you watching my video, y'all's feedback. Um, I think what I would do is maybe just like hauls of like maternity clothes, kind of baby stuff that you guys might be interested in. So, I don't know, something like that. You guys will have to let me know. I'm happy to do that if, you know, a lot of you guys would like to see those because that'd be super fun to film and to look back on later in life. But yeah, just let me know down below and let's go ahead and jump into my favorites. My first favorites are two different eyeshadow palettes and the first one I already kind of mentioned a couple weeks ago so you guys might know what it is. <laughs> it's the Too Faced Chocolate Bonbon Palette which packaging is adorable you can't not point that out and then you get these beautiful chocolatey smelling shades these little heart eyeshadows inside and it's just a nice everyday palette and you can also get a like a darker nighttime look I've honestly just been using it pretty much every day I wear eyeshadow in conjunction with this other one that I have to show you here in a second but you can get so many looks out of it and I just don't get tired of it usually I get tired of eyeshadows or eyeshadow palettes and I usually switch it up like almost every time I wear makeup but this one is just so good and it's definitely one that I recommend the quality is great and who doesn't want to feel so girly and Polly Pocket like when you're using this cute little palette so I love that one and the other one is one that I kind of discovered later in the month and it's this Becca Ombre Rouge eyeshadow palette and I, I wanted to get this because I heard a couple people talking about it um, but it's just, it looks so boring to me. It's just these matte eyeshadows, kind of just neutrals that are super boring. And I'm like, well, I have so many neutral eyeshadows that I could just kind of make my own custom palette. But I'm so glad that I ended up ordering this from Sephora because it is just, the quality is just impeccable. It's such a delight to work with. There's just something about the quality and the smoothness and the blendability of these just the right amount of pigment, pigment, not too pigmented, that it's like splotchy and hard to work with and not like not pigmented. It's just the perfect amount. It makes me wonder what the quality of the Visar or Viseart palettes are like compared to this because I don't know. Is it too dramatic to say that these, this quality of matte eyeshadows is probably one of the best that I've ever used so far in my life? That's pretty dramatic, but I'm gonna throw it out there you guys will have to let me know if you have both like the Becca ones, the matte eyeshadows, and also the Viseart or Visart matte palettes. You'll have to let me know if the Viseart, whatever, I'm just, I'm just going to call it Visart, is like that much better because I kind of want to dabble in luxurious, beautiful, easy to work with eyeshadows like this. With this palette, I can get a look just by itself. But what I also love it for is to use this palette and then go in with like a shimmery shade on the eyelid. I've been dabbling with some sparklers, the Makeup D sparklers, so I like to put those on the lid with this. Today I have on a ColourPop um, eyeshadow in Weenie. <laughs> Kathleen Light's one of her new shadows. So I have that. I just like to, again, wear this by itself or in conjunction with like a lid color, like a fun, more fun, sparkly, not matte lid color. So I definitely re I recommend that one. It's what is it? $40 for five eyeshadows, but I'm just so glad I finally bit the bullet and got that. So happy. Switching over to a skincare product. This is the Paula's Choice Resist Super Antioxidant Concentrate Serum for all skin types. It says it fights multiple signs of aging. Now this has been such a remarkable item in my skincare routine. It's like this um, gel. Now, I don't know if you would like this if you have oily skin. It's like this gel. I don't even know if you can see that. So it does kind of leave your skin dewy. 
and I want to say a little bit greasy, but not not bad at all. I don't know about you guys, but having dry skin myself, the word greasy, greasy doesn't doesn't throw me off. I'm actually like, yes, can I have a greasy product? Thank you. So I don't want to like throw you guys off, but if you have normal down to dry skin or very dry skin, I, I highly recommend this. This has just really kind of softened my face, softened the dryness, softened like fine lines and wrinkles, and it just makes my skin so supple and just bouncy and cushiony, which is what I look for in skincare. I want my skin to be nice and plump. <laughs> and this this does it. I use this. It is a serum, so I use it after I tone, wash, tone, use this, and then do a moisturizer over top. So I'm just super impressed with Paula's Choice. I will link my recent blog post where I kind of did my entire skincare routine on a blog post and I did get a try. I had the opportunity to work with Paula's Choice and try a lot of her products. So I will link that below if you want to like read more and see what my other favorites out of the Paula's Choice line was that I had the opportunity to try. My next product is a concealer and this is the Bare Minerals Bare Skin Complete Coverage Serum Concealer. I have mine in the shade Fair. This was actually in my last month favorites but I cut it out because the video was just a little bit too long and I knew that I would be able to talk about it like obviously now or in the future because I love it that much. This is up there. This is one of my like top three favorite concealers as of right now. It's up there tied with my Clinique Line Smoothing Concealer and the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. I love them. They're, they're all amazing, but this is the one that I've been, I've been wearing it ever since I got it. I can't stop wearing it. It's a full coverage concealer and it really does brighten up the under eyes, but it's so lightweight and you just don't feel it. And it leaves like such a dewy, luminous glow to wherever you apply it. I just apply mine under the eyes in like an upside down triangle situation. It's just such a nice concealer. I was a little bit hesitant to get this because I had heard some people say that it wasn't that full coverage and I'm like, well, I don't like to waste my time with um, concealers, especially under the eyes that aren't full coverage because I know I need full coverage under my eyes. This is so amazing. I highly recommend checking it out. The price point is amazing, right around $20. Oh, it does crease. I'm sure it does, but I always set all my concealers, so I don't worry about... Creasing is not like a factor in my book because I always set my under eye concealers because they just always crease on me. So as far as creasing, if you don't set it, I would assume that it does just because it is kind of emollient and, you know, dewy type formula. So it looks like that it has like a flat doe foot. Definitely good stuff. I love you. This shadow on my face is bothering me so bad. <laughs> I don't know what I think about my lighting. Super side note here, but I feel like it's just too dark. Like in the background, the walls, they look like they're kind of an olive color, but they're act or like a khaki, like kind of khaki olive, but they're just like a tan like a medium light tan color. So I'm actually having my this room painted next week. So I'm really excited about that. I'm just gonna get it like a really bright, not like stark white, but almost like an off white, just because I think it looks, it looks better. It just, the lights kind of bounce and reflect better. It's the same color that I had in my other makeup room, which is upstairs. Now I'm in the basement because I switched offices with my husband, long story. So yeah, I, I'm gonna have my walls painted. So just a little side note makeup room update for you guys. And I will be getting around to doing my makeup room tour probably in the next few weeks after the room is painted and then I can like organize and everything and then film that for you guys. So anyway, boom, there's that. <laughs> next is the newest highlighters in my collection and one that can't stop, won't stop. It's the new Becca shade, the Shimmering Skin Perfector Pressed in the color Pearl, which is this linen that I think they describe it as like a white linen cream, but it's basically a white. Fair skin people, this, you need it. Absolutely need it. I've been wearing this on its own. I've been wearing it as a highlight. I've been wearing it as a inner corner highlight, a brow bone highlight. I've been mixing it with, my favorite thing to mix it with is Champagne Pop, also by Becca, this Jaclyn Hills color if you are have been living under a rock and you don't know. <laughs> um, this is so freaking beautiful. I've been waiting for them to come out with a shimmering skin perfector in a white color or any kind of highlight formula that I love to just come out with something 
to satisfy us fair skin beauties, right? So I just freaking love this. The formula is amazing. I love these products in general. And now they have a white color. Since we're talking about Becca, I have another Becca product that I've recently put, or last month I put it in my everyday makeup drawer and I've been playing with it and using it all the time. This is the Becca Shadow and Light Bronze Contour Perfector, which is a super long name. It's basically like two products in one, or basically you can get three out of it. So you get this really kind of kind of cool tone. It almost has like a cool tone and a little bit of red kick to it, which I don't know, but it just works as a contour. And then this more warm tone, like tan bronze shade that kind of reminds me of Nars Laguna. So I use the contour as a contour, duh. And then what I do is I will mix both of those together for an all over bronzer. So it's a bronzer and contour product in one. I just think these colors look so good. It's not even like a super cool tone contour, which I usually like most of all because it creates that nice shadow look and looks the most natural, you know, as like in the hollows and under the jawline is where I contour. But for some reason, it just works. It's very easy. The product is very easy to work with. It doesn't kick up like powder and fluff when you dip your brush in there. And it's just really, really beautiful. So definitely like an oldie but goodie favorite. So I'm gonna put him back with the other bronzers and I'm gonna pull out a different bronzer for next month to put in my everyday makeup drawer. So maybe I'll have another favorite next month. My next favorite, I actually had to go pull it out of my purse because it's been in there and I've been, it's been my go-to purse lipstick, which you know it's getting a lot of love if it lives in my purse. It's the ColourPop Lippy Sticks in the color Aquarius, which is a cream finish. This is one of Kathleen Lights's new, she came out with two new lippy sticks and two lippy pencils, but this is like the perfect everyday nude color. It's just perfect. I have a hard time having like a purse nude color, like a color, a nude color you can just like put on without any lip liner, without any gloss. She did such a, an amazing job. Now this actually just launched, I think this launched on the 26th, but I had the opportunity to try it out like a few weeks ago is when I got mine. Um, so thank you Kathleen for thinking of me and sending that so I could try it out and I just love it. Did I tell you guys it was a cream finish, which I like because nudes on me, in my nude lippy experience, um, like it, you need a gloss or like a shine or something to make it like not corpse like or you know dead and just make it more flattering and wearable. So I love that she put it in. Sorry, I thought my table was shaking. I love that she put it in a cream finish because it just makes it so easy to wear. And these smell so much better than the old formula. Like I don't know if they changed their formula. But these smell like vanilla butterscotch. It's so delicious. I just kind of want to eat it. Um, but I'll refrain. Okay, so those are or were my December favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed. You guys know what to do. Leave your favorites down below and let me know if you've tried any of the stuff that I showed. And then also please let me know about the pregnancy videos in any capacity that you would want to see. Um, also leave any other video requests below because I'm kind of trying to plan out the rest of the month and the new year, January 2016, so crazy. So I'm trying to plan out videos, so let me know what y'all guys, y'all guys, what you guys <laughs> would like to see. Thank you so much for watching and hanging out and being here today. I'll see you guys next time in my next video. Bye.